Can you help me open this thing, please? Yeah, yeah thank you so much. Oh. He's a subscriber as well. I uh, love that. I already a subscriber. Yeah? yeah? Brilliant. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> Jack, you're trying it. I am. Yeah. So you're trying the toasted one. Okay. Go for it, mate. Cheers. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, badass. Get out. Badass. Listen, if there's one thing I wish we have here in the UK, literally 7-Eleven will be at the very top, man. I don't understand why the UK haven't got any 7-Eleven store. Any 7-Eleven franchise there. So it's one of the things that pissed me the most, man. Even bloody America got 7-Eleven. Why the UK hasn't got 7-Eleven, man? I meet 7-Eleven. When I'm in Southeast Asia, it's my favorite store. I go to when I need some snacks. Literally, why the UK haven't got any 7-Eleven? It's mental, man. You see, 7-Eleven is like a white girl, a white chick. Anyways, all girls in a while are pretty, by the way, in case you're gonna come at me. Don't come at me. Yeah, that was me. That was me in the past. Ranting, going off, going crazy about why the UK, or should I say, London, hasn't got any 7-Eleven stores. I'm a fan of it now. I love 7-Eleven. Whenever I'm in Asia, or let's say, whenever I'm in Thailand, or Malaysia, I have to go to 7-Eleven stores. Because 7-Eleven stores is good. And the one thing I like about it is the snacks. Yes, the aircon. Why are you going outside? Getting, getting cold in there. As you already know, Asia is hot. And one of the hot things that's been around for many, many years now is 7 Eleven stores. Yes, everywhere you look around, in Thailand, in Malaysia, you will find 7 Eleven stores. So it makes sense for me to make a video comparison the 7 Eleven snacks in Malaysia versus Thai 7 Eleven snacks. So which one is the best? So stay tuned and let's find out. Coming up on Asia Round Trip. Hopping into this one real quick, so let's do it. So hopefully, hopefully they allow me to record. Oh, I nearly, I nearly missed it. Hear the sound. Do -do, do -do. Yeah, so you're trying to toast the one, okay. I finished my thing. Crazy, crazy. I don't like that. So the thing I like about Malaysia 7-Eleven so far, people are not telling me to stop recording. No one actually come up to me yet. And then here you got this, the sauce. <laughs> it's like a little, you know what I mean? Look at that. That is sick, man. Yeah, just like that. That's how you know we're in Thailand because a TikTok passing by, a guy pushing my screen trying. Street van setting up, and of course, a guy on a motorbike. Modern to me, yeah, Thailand and 7 Eleven. Yeah, there we go. Everywhere you look around, literally every alleyway, 7 Eleven. All right, let's pop in, yeah. Pin into this one real quick, so let's do it. So, hopefully, hopefully, they allow me to record. Oh, I nearly, I nearly missed it. Hear the sound, do -do, do -do. That's sick, man. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? You all right? Wow. Yeah, brilliant. I'm just looking around, finding something, okay? Brilliant, huh? I'm a vlogger. Yeah. Walk around. walk around. Oh yeah, definitely. See, the lady say walk around. I thought she say water. And anyway, that's fine. So yeah, let me just show you the prizes. Yeah. So here is 15 bucks for a water. That really fancy one. That's not bad. Oh, I love the drinks, man. Especially when it's very, very, very hot outside. Oh, let me open that. Oh, the sound, man. Do -do. Oh, I want to stay here because it's very cold. Oh yes, yeah, so nice man. Got a water man. Booty drink. That's sick. Right, more drinks here. Okay. I need something like. Do they have a Milo here? 
I just want to see if it's having a Milo. Milo drink? Where's the Milo for Malaysian drink? I just want to see what the price like here in Bangkok 7-Eleven. Why oh, do they haven't got any Milo? Okay, so if, if they haven't got that, let me just see what I can. Okay, this is a tip code. Right, so I'm going to get one of this orange juice. I'm getting that. I feel like I need a basket for this. <laughs> I really do. I well, look at all the snacks here, man. Oh, look at this. Snack Jack. Hey, Jack. Yep. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Snack Jack. It's like 20 baht. That's, that's not bad, though. Uh, you know what? Before, okay, it's Snack Jack, so I'm going to get one of that. Have <laughs> you tried this before? I don't even know what this one called, but I really like it. Sweet it's a sweet corn, right? Yeah, sweet corn thing. Um, I'm gonna get one of this as well. So it's it's like ten bucks. Oh, check this out! It's snacks. Oh, I want this. Do you? Do you know everyone who comes to Thailand are talking about this thing? Yeah, this thing. I'm holding. Yes, this thing is called the toasted cheese sandwich. Yes, it may look let's say normal, but I tell you something, this ain't normal. This thing is really, really good. It's outrageously tasty. <laughs> wait till I try this, or wait till Jack try this for the first time. So here at the section, if you want more crips, then you can find it here. I like the 7-Eleven, it's so big, compared to the other 7-Eleven um, I've seen here so far. It's quite nice, man. Oh, la, 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 la. Oh, let me show you. This. You see, these ones are nice, but these ones, by far, my favorite, man. This. This. Yeah, this is a famous one. Oh my god. I have to try it, so I'm gonna get one of this. Right? Oh my god, man. I love 7 Eleven. You know why I love coming here? Because it's very, very. Oh, it's so cold, baby. <laughs> oh, Jack. Jack, find a Milo. Jack, you find a Milo. <laughs> How much is that? How much is that? Uh, 41. The cheap, that's 34. That's 34 oh. there. Oh my god. Just, just the powder, right? Like it, yeah. Yeah. Wow, surprisingly, Thai 7 Eleven stores got Milo. Milo is made for Malaysia. I'm surprised. Milo powder? You can drink this thing. Anyways, I'm gonna try this, yeah? I'll wait till I go to Malaysia, of course. Anyways, yeah, check this out. Me. No, just me, just me. Huh? No photo of Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry about that. Actually, can't record in here, but I need to respect that. So I'm gonna go outside and record this, okay? Hi. What's that? Why are you going outside? Uh, it's getting, getting cold in there. <laughs> So this is toast this uh, I let the lady toast it for me. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it man, I'm gonna try it on camera because I've tried it all the time and whatever I'm in the bank of it. So it's very cheap man. Anyway, let's go. You know what? I'm gonna break it so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Oh look at that extra cheese thing man. Oh my god, that is sick man. Oh, let me try it. trying it. I am. Yeah. So you're trying to toast the one. Okay. Go for it, mate. Cheers. I told you, this thing is outrageously addictive. I think Jack is loving it. I'm loving it. I think Jack is loving it more. Oh, I love it. I really do love this thing. Whenever I'm in Thailand, whenever I visit Thai 7-Eleven stores, I must have this thing. This thing is good. The toasted cheese sandwich. Oh yeah, count me in. I love it. But the only thing I don't like about Thai 7-Eleven stalls is that it's like everyone is telling you not to take a photo. It goes like these. No photo, no photo, no photo. It pisses me off sometimes. I'm a foreigner. Get that? What do you think? You know, it's quite good actually. Yeah? It's quite moorish. I have another slice. I don't want to steal all yours. Ma, you finish your mind though. Sure? Yeah, 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 I need some, boy. <laughs> That's really good, man. Good one, nice one, nice one. 
Mm. Man, you literally finished it. I know. <laughs> Blimey, man. You finished this boy, finished my thing. Crazy, crazy. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a cup, man. Look, the, the cup of taste and flavour to it as well. Mmm. It's my second time trying this, though. Mmm. Very nice. Very, very good, man. Oh, look at this lady. She's making yeah, this. The roadside. Like, Hello. <laughs> she's, she's so friendly as well. She, we were in there at the 7 Eleven and then she said hi to us. So, yeah. So, what's your name? Yeah. Gia. Gia. Mans. Mans. Yeah. I'm Jack. He's Jack. Hello, Jack. Yeah. Hello, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. So, catch you in the video, okay? Yeah, nice, yeah. Meet you. nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I can't finish it. Excuse me. Little man, is it okay if I give the boy? Yeah. yeah? You want some? I think I couldn't finish this thing because my belly is full of so many amazing things I've tried in the city. So... Take care. <laughs> the 7-Eleven, <-11, Bye>. enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I give my snacks to this little boy. I think he's gonna enjoy it. But anyways, now let's go to Malaysia and let's try Malaysia 7-Eleven. Beautiful Malaysians. That's right. Why you're too gorgeous, boy? Are you Malaysian? Are you sure? Malaysian everywhere. Okay, this guy's oh, it's finished now. Malaysian woman. Chinese Malaysian. Oh, go book of winter. Free ring of 40. Come on. Come on, take my money. Take my money. Take it. Take 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 it. Good. You, you don't want me to feed ya. Let me feed your money. Yeah, man. Traveling life, man, is so hot in KL. Every time I'm in this place, I am so bloody sweating already, man. Literally. Anyway, you know, so let's go now. Token. Oh, yeah. Ow. Eleven over there, so I can see it. So I'm gonna go there, and then just to try Malaysia 7-Eleven, comparing, to, right? So comparing it to Thai 7-Eleven, man. This place is so noisy. This car is, I, I, I'm gonna ban them. What the heck, man? So, look at me, so I just the most um, happening place that's going on. A lot of things. You see big screen, advertise, advertisement there. This guy's on his phone texting. That lady over there, she looks mad cute. All right, and then yeah, man, there's so many things going on, and I absolutely love it. So right now, um, let's say it's getting to six, six p.m. in the evening. So pretty much people are coming from work, and traffic as well is actually um, is going to get proper ridiculous, man. So I'm a little bit late in this video, but. You know, popping something just to show you what Malaysia 7 Eleven is all about, right? And then maybe I'll grab one or two things. Nice. 
Oh, okay. So yeah, this is the 7-Eleven. Sorry. Anyways, um, as you can see here. Oh, hell yeah. So come to the to the drink section here. So this is all what Malaysia is all about, right? Look at the drinks there. Yo, you got strawberry drinks there as well. Cheese and got like an only flavor milk. Nice. If you want coffee, you know, okay. Right, so you can mix them. Yeah, some nice things here, man. This is amazing. I didn't see this when I was in, in Thailand. 7-Eleven stalls. I didn't see that. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, badass. Get out. Badass. Ah, that's but that's being spicy, right? So look at all this spicy thing here, and oh, Maggie, look at that! Malaysian, they love their Maggie, man. The Maggie tom yum, nice. Oh, hot, hot clip. Okay, hot, okay, hot, hot. Oh, well, I see here. Yo, you see? Look, I'm not wrong. Hot clip there, man. It's mad. Oh, that looks nice. That looks very nice. Let me open it. Wow. I think I might want to get this. Okay, okay. Let's get this. Right, I'm gonna get all of those three there. It, look, it looks like, I think it's crab. It absolutely looks like crab, so why not? Let me get a bag. Where's the bloody bag? It's a bag there. So the thing I like about Malaysia 7-Eleven so far, people are not telling me to stop recording. No one actually come up to me yet. And then here you got this, the sauce. <laughs> it's like a little, you know what I mean? Look at that. That is sick, man. Go back here full of sauce. Anyways, I'm gonna put this thing in this bag. Ooh, this is a Malaysian style croissant. Okay, and let's get a snack. Let's see. So I got that. It's a crab, and I got a croissant. On this section, they're selling, you know, deodorant, just to keep yourself, you know, what I mean, proper, fresh. I think I need one of this spray. I really need one of this, but I think I need to go to the ATM. I don't, I don't think I have enough money with me. But I like this. I like this 7-Eleven in Malaysia, man. It's sick. I really do, man. Look at this. Took brush here. You can find that as well in Thai 7-Eleven stores. And look at how different this thing is. Huh? You see, Malaysia 7-Eleven things are proper. The shell is so low. That's here. As you can see, this is how you can tell I'm in Malaysia 7-Eleven because they bloody love this thing and they call it Milo. Milo is a chocolate um, drink. It's like a hot chocolate pretty much. Look at that. Look at all the Malaysian drinks here. Yeah? Yo, yo, yo. Me na I'm gonna get this. So I have to try this drink, this Milo one because I'm in Malaysia of course. It's so nice. So organized. And it's so cool. So cool, man. See, like that she's a Muslim lady wearing the hijab. A Muslim customer as well. See, Malaysia is a bad society. society. Got it, Malay, the Indian, the Chinese. Thank you. Just gonna go for this one, yeah? Thank you so much. My love. Yes. 14 ringer 55, okay. So the price was like 14 ringer 55, so change is like 45. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> so I got my stuff now. You see, but the thing is, like 7 Eleven, they all sound the same, yeah. <laughs> she was like, man, looking at me. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna keep walking here yeah, and then just see. I just wanna find somewhere I can just start and and just like try this thing so look at this why i'm walking and i'm actually come across in this things yeah nice oh yeah i like it oh yeah i like it. it's getting dark now so let me hurry up this guy doesn't want to wait it doesn't want to wait all right so let me just keep walking straight oh it's so hot there it's gonna be like a kebab there turkish food See, that's why I like Kuala Lumpur, you can find food from all walks of life. Such a livable city and so cheap as well. Just amazing. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. This guy's doing Yeah, man. Thanks, man. So, literally, if I can stand 
here and get the thing done and then I'll just go over there and then wrap the video up. So let me have a go at this, let me try it. This is mad cold man, but it's good. Rub it's so like a rub meat ball, something like that, so it's nice, really nice, I love it. I can easily grab another, just like that. See? Smart, you gotta improvise, use your head sometimes. When you're going again. Mm. Oh, come on, focus on that. My camera is not acting up so slow to focus. But as you can see, I just like just drizzle a little bit, like just put it around um, on it. I just put the, the sauce on it. So now, yeah, it looks nice, really nice. So let me taste it now. Let's see if there's any difference. Oh yeah, for sure. You got you got to have the sauce there, the chili sauce there, the patas, patas sauce. You need to have a bit. Yeah. So I got my Milo now. So to wash things down, I'm gonna have to go for the Milo. Oh, this shit is good. Look, I think I'm getting addicted to it now. So this is madness, man. I literally, I can't whip in this. So. I'm gonna hack him. Can you help me open this thing, please? Yeah, yeah thank you so much. Wow. Wow. He's a subscriber as well. I uh, love that. I already a subscriber. Yeah? yeah Brilliant. Really. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> oh. mm -mm. Alright, shut the front door, man. The other thing is, let's say you go to France. France, they're well known for the croissant, yeah? So that's where of course croissant actually originate from. But I can tell you, Malaysian dogs are better. Uh, yes, yeah, 7 Eleven, I mean, the store. Uh, mm. Mm. Woo. Ah, I'm getting spoiled in Malaysia, boy. So, yeah, to wrap it up, of course, man, they say my entire 7 Eleven is by far the best in the world. But I can tell you for sure, man, Malaysia will give it a run for their money. Literally, like. I'm not gonna judge you. you. You tell me. You tell me which one is the best in the comment section down below. Let me know. I want to. I want to hear from you. For me, inside, something is telling me. Ooh, Malaysia one is really interesting. That's why I didn't actually go for the noodles because I know for sure you're gonna be like, oh, you should have. You should have tried the padas gila. You should have tried that. But let me tell you something, man. You guys want to kill me? Padas gila? Hell no. I ain't doing that, right? But I love it, I love the Milo, of course I did. If I didn't actually try this, I know Malaysia will kill me. They will kill me. <laughs> Beautiful, clean, lovely, just amazing. This guy over there is making some crazy, crazy cream sound. I think it's even cringer than me. Ow, damn. <laughs> He's playing with the little, the little kid. <laughs> he's, he's confused. Next time on Asia Round Trip. But it's actually raining outside, but yet still see people actually going about their life. And they do what they've got to do inside so fire here. So I've got to stay next to the fire. If you enjoyed this episode and you to this channel, why not subscribe and watch this next?